quote Eduardo Castrillo himself, he said, artists don't decide to become artists. It is God-given. It is a calling that one is compelled to answer and that the talents gifted need to be honed, nurtured, and developed to reach this level. He shared those wonderful words of wisdom during an interview for Art Plus magazine, and he could as well be talking about his artistic journey. The artist was born in 1942 in Santa Ana, Manila, the youngest of five children of Santiago Silva Castrillo, a jeweler, and Magdalena de los Santos, an actress. It was his father, a master craftsman, who taught the young Eduardo the jewelry techniques that would eventually form the crux of his metalworking techniques. Fashioning jewelry from metal sheets, the elder Castrillo taught his son that using pliable metal is perhaps better than using molds. After entering the fine arts program of the University of Santo Tomas, Castrillo worked in a variety of jobs before he began his career in commissioned sculpture. Beginning with the Virgin at La Loma Cemetery and Youth's Cry of Defiance in Fort Santiago in 1966, Castrillo would eventually master covering historical events and personalities and become one of the country's most sought-after commissioned artists. In his works, Castrillo used metal sheets instead of molds, pioneering in the handcrafted constructivism method in metal and all other materials available at that time, glass, plexiglass, and wood. That was because he found casting methods in the Philippines limited in depth and lacking a refined finish. These were also difficult, requiring heavy foundations and poured concrete bases. Castrillo would apply the same techniques to craft his smaller works. With this, he made objects like furniture, jewelry, functional art, and even fashion more sculptural in nature. As an artist, he was deep, and his grasp of his mission for God and country was apparent to him early on in his career, and carried over until his later years. He was a generous artist in that he had shared his technique and nurtured his craftsmen, who had all later become part of the Eduardo Castrillo Studio family. For his amazing works, Castrillo received numerous awards, including the 10 Outstanding Young Men and the Republic Cultural Heritage Award, both in 1971. He was a wellspring of artistic ideas, evidenced by the multitude of concepts he had created, some of which have yet to be built. Even at the time of his death on May 18, 2016, Eduardo Castrillo's only frustration was that, in spite of his enormous and unparalleled body of work, he was not able to show the world everything he had in mind. 